Hey everybody, Texas Rogue Gary Lance is performing Chef Alone with Star Mobars out of It's Monday night about 7.30 here after work. I've got some JB Weld hopefully setting up on the plastic of the dash on the truck. <laughs> so, subsequently, before I dare move that thing, I want to give it plenty of time. I'm going for like an hour and because uh, it did cool off we were 100 degrees friday and saturday and now it's like 50 you know so that's that's what happens <laughs> but uh i'm gonna see if that will set pretty well it's a little warmer here in the shop uh, but i want to give it plenty of time before i dare touch it so what better time than to pick up some tools that have been needing to be showcased and get them in rotation so that's exactly what we're going to do this is kc tool hall number 47 I'll tell you right now, it is 100% Hazette. That's right. So, uh, not a cheap tool haul. Uh, not necessarily a ton of items, but uh, something that you were responsible for. More on that shortly. Uh, as with any KC tool order, when you come in and you place the order, regardless of whether it's $1 or $1,000, you get a bit of thanks. This is a Philo number 2, stamped also with the KC tool logo. Uh, current flyer, which is about to expire, it's from Vera. We won't spend any time on that. And if you exceed the $100 mark, you get the German Tool sticker pack. And spoiler alert, we did that here. So we're going to set that off to the side, and uh, this is what I'm looking for <laughs> right here. I've never seen anyone make a video on one of these. I've never seen anyone have something like this outside of like my grandma, but it was not graduated, and it actually it was. Uh, and it was not uh, intended for what I'm going to do with it. But this is from Hazette. It is their part number 198-5. If I lower it down. Well, sorry, my hand does that sometimes. <laughs> Just doesn't go where I want it to go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's what it is. So this is Hazette 198-5. Check this out, it's a little too big for the camera. It's got a threaded end here, it's got a handle on this side, and if you're thinking it's a pitcher or a measuring cup, you're 100% right. Now, why on earth would I have bought this? Well, for multiple reasons, all right? There are so many times where a funnel is kind of a problem, and, uh, you know, it'll pop out, you can't manage it all at the same time while also holding, you know, the oil or the fluid or whatever you're doing. And uh, there's also many, many times where the fluid that you're trying to put in the container, the spout, you know, like the end of the quart or the can or the bottle or the pint or whatever it might be, is like grossly disproportionately missized to made up with where you're trying to place it. And uh, that is what I thought would kind of be cool with this. I don't remember one time I was like in the and the deep searches on KC Tool and stumbled across this thing. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, and I threw it down on my account, you know, I was saving it for a rainy day or free freight, most likely. It was not needed with our star item, but I thought, you know what, what better time to just go ahead and bring this in. I did use this the other day. I pulled a mower off, you can't tell, because it was water. <laughs> but, uh, sometimes I can use things and you don't have any clue. But uh, it was a battery that had been sitting for a really long time. I wanted to see if it would take a charge. And I used this to add the distilled water because it worked really, really well. Then I'm not like dipping a funnel inside the cavity. And uh, this, even though it's not appropriately sized, it's way better working with that than just the open end of a gallon. I can also control the fluid much better. So uh, the capacity on this thing, I believe, is two liters. It's kind of graduated out there. It's very difficult for you to see it with the glare, but essentially 500, 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000. And then it uh, made in Taiwan, so this isn't like German handcrafted plastic or anything. But at the price point of $18.90, I think I might have got it a little cheaper than that with a promotional or a sale or something. I felt like it was a good deal because this is one of those things you just can't find. A couple years back, I was trying to find a watering can. Uh, it didn't have to be metal. It could have been plastic. It didn't have to be copper. I wasn't looking for anything decorative. I was looking for something functional, you know, that would have a little old school plastic faucet to shower your plants with and everything. I couldn't find anything, and this is springtime. This is like peak garden seasoning, <laughs> and uh, came up empty. So it's not like you can just run around Walmart and get this stuff for two bucks. It's if they have it and if they have it at all. So uh, ultimately, I went with this guy. Let's see, can we get the sticker off? That residue. I don't think we're going to be able to, sadly. Uh, luckily, we've got the Hazette scraper here. 
<laughs> so it's a guy right here I'm telling you uh, it is a godsend for stuff like this I might play around with that after the tool haul and uh, see if we can make that happen while well, I let the JB weld set even longer <laughs> to play it safe now little did you know but inside this I have another bag and that other bag is our second item from Hazette. And if you're thinking like, okay, what would fit in there? That's the opening, by the way, sort of like a half moon deal. And again, pretty much anything that isn't straight up acid, you're safe in this. So brake fluid, your golden antifreeze, diluted antifreeze, 50-50 mix, straight distilled water like I was using, power steering fluid, transmission fluid, gear oil, whatever it is, uh, this is your ticket. So uh, price point, if I didn't mention it, $18.90, I believe we did, but for good measure, we've covered it once more now. This next item, right in that same territory price-wise, $23.98. And uh, this one comes from Switzerland. It is Hazette, and it is coming from Switzerland. It's 150 millimeters long. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, screwdriver. That's all it could be that length, right? No one talks about lengths on wrenches or anything stupid. Part number, let's go with that. 2025X-1. If you or someone you know is a Hazette super fan, you might know what that indicates. <laughs> For everyone else, you're going to have to wait until this bag drops down. And there's nothing in it, because... I took it out. But uh, we'll throw that to the side. But again, 2025X-1, price point of $23.98. And this kind of ties in with our star item, and I'd also been eyeballing these for quite some time. Uh, I will tell you, the 150 millimeter that we have, there are a couple of other iterations. One of them is significantly longer. The price corresponds accordingly. Even though that would have better suited me, I wanted to bring this one in and see what I thought of it before I commit. So, you're looking at it, you're like, what? It's not a screwdriver, it's not a wrench, what, uh, what's going on, buddy? Well, this is Hazette 2025 X-1, 23 bucks for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 slots. We've got some hanging tabs. You can see kind of here the set screws look like a number one Phillips there. Uh, looks like some billet anodized stuff. Sadly, it's not. It's just plastic. But uh, you can actually see the screw kind of poking through there. But it is slotted. And what this ultimately adds up to you is something that I can mount on the shop wall, on pegboard, on the square tube wall, whatever I want to do, I can mount this somewhere. And then I will be able to hold different items. Ideally, this would be designed for screwdrivers, right? So if we come in here and we take our PB Swiss, since this is from Switzerland, here's an idea of, you know, what might work. It's not necessarily going to be the best fit like our VHA or the KC Tool Precision Stand or anything, but it would hold it there, you know, however you place it. And then I think you can kind of deform these and make them, make them fit what you want them to a little bit better. Not sure exactly what we're going to wind up doing with it. Uh, I have some ideas in mind, though. Again, a big thing for me is not necessarily, you know, like super organize the toolbox, but have what I frequently use out and available. Again, this is home shop, personal area. I don't have to worry about, you know, coworker two, three, and five, you know, always taking my stuff and coworker six stealing my stuff and coworker seven innocently losing my stuff. This is just me, right? So I can have stuff out. And uh, this is something we're going to give a shot. These also tie in nicely uh, with their uh, tool trolleys, all their mobile accessories, some of their toolboxes that have the flip lids you can mount this to. But uh, that is what we went with there. Now, this next item is the final item, and this is the item that you're responsible for. So many, many moons ago, of course, we started acquiring screwdrivers to test them, and one of them was the uh, Xanamic from Hazette's. And spoiler alert, I really like that handle. I think I've mentioned that every time. I even not too long ago brought in the stubby version for a stubby shootout that we have planned. That said, this kind of gives you an idea of what the color scheme is and everything. At one point in time, KC Tool, which this stuff, let me see if we can pace this back. It's almost two months old. I ordered this August 3rd. We're almost to October at this point in time. <laughs> but uh, Anyway, I saw this was tool of the day. I know that I love the handles. I don't quite know how they're going to perform because we haven't tested them yet. But this is, in my opinion, the bee's knees with a Zet. Some people will tell you otherwise. In terms of comfort, you know, we'll see what they hold up against and everything. But uh, there was a set, and Hazette screwdrivers are extremely expensive. A set of Hazette screwdrivers is extremely expensive. <laughs> and even on tool of the day, 
I would say they're extremely expensive. Now, you know, if you're like used to shelling out for like, you know, snap on stuff and it's kind of right in line, a little cheaper, you'll have have money for a nice dinner or two or three even. Uh, but for me and my thrifty ways, you know, trying to get quality tools at budget prices, it was a hard pill to swallow. I wanted them, yes, but the price point, even on tool of the day, I was kind of like, ugh, I don't know. So ultimately, what do I do? Well, I consult you, my friends, the viewers, the enablers, <laughs> the people uh, who I can always count on to tell me, yes, buy that. We want to see it. And that's exactly what happened. I ran a poll on YouTube in the community section. I will do that from time to time. If you follow me there, sometimes I'll get it on uh, Twitter. Uh, Facebook, it's very unlikely to be there, but hey, it is what it is. And I asked, do you have an interest in seeing me bring in this item? And a lot of you knew, like, oh, you already got that, and, you know, you don't have to do it. Uh, but despite that, everyone's consensus was, yes, do it. Why are you asking? Just pull the trigger. <laughs> and, uh, subsequently, that is why we have this coming to the workbench. Let me see which way we want to orient this sucker. We're going to drop it down slowly so you can kind of take it in and I'm gonna set it here now at this point in time is it a screwdriver or was I just pulling your chain right was I was I turning the head of the screw I don't know because this looks more like a box that would house a ratchet or a wrench set right and I have been known to lead people astray set things up make big surprises so let's let's go ahead and talk about the price okay 156.69. Maybe it was like 120-ish. I'm not sure. This, unlike the Taiwan measuring cup and the Switzerland-based uh, tool holder, this is actually from Slovenia. So, uh, if you will, the Hazet headquarters. And this is their 10-piece set. It really is. It's in this box. And uh, I gotta say, I do like it. This isn't... I finally found on their website, they don't consider this to be teal or anything. They call it Hazette Blue, which that works for me. I'm not gonna complain. I do like the color. But when I flip this open, this is exactly as they are delivered, right? So it's hard for you to see it. But right up here at the top, first thing first, we've got a stubby. Is it an identical replication of that yeah unfortunately now you know could I have subbed that out for something no but if I could have would I have and would I like to have probably so uh, but again you know you can't really argue it's a great size stubby it's super comfortable and now whatever I want to do with that I can if I lose it or wear it out because I like it so well I can replace it uh, right here uh, screwdriver number two we've got a slotted stubby I think we'll get these out clear this area and uh, then, then go to town from there. So under the first layer of the paraffin, here we are with a tiny, tiny slotted. Again, we'll go into the particulars uh, here shortly. We've got another one. The cool thing about this for me is I get to see if they scale their handles or not based on the size, right? As the Philips 1 super slim like Vion and the Philips 3 is super fat, I don't know because I literally just had their Philips number 2. Uh, that's what I based everything on, and I now see my answer. They do, in fact, scale it, and that's going to be 50 dead down too. So coming in here first, though, let's flip this. So we've got what looks to be a number one Phillips. I should mention this set in particular was slotted in Phillips. I busted it out the other day just to look at the box because I was seeing if there was a posi drive in it. If there was, it was going to work to make my life much easier. Finally ran across a number one posi situation. <laughs> so there is our number two fix. Now check this out there. This is something I don't even really remember all the particulars, but we're now into a territory of the bigger slotted and we have got a hex bolster. So that's pretty true. Uh, coming in next, this looks to be our next guy. And, uh, these are not striking cap, but if if I turn out to like these, we're going to have some, some really nice slotted screwdrivers here. So there they are. What I'm feeling when I run my hand across the shaft is actually going to be the size. And last but not least, this is the big honker of the set. We got this guy. And uh, I got to say, it is... Uh, pretty beefy little screwdriver so uh, one thing that's unfortunate as we've gone through acquiring all these screwdrivers if I don't buy a set I'm not getting a slotted or a Phillips 1 or a Phillips 3 or anything along those lines right let's make sure there's no sticker there's not that's something that's something you gotta give Vera credit for you know you buy a set like this I think it'd be cool to get a little something for the toolbox right 
Uh, that's just my opinion, but here is the box again. It's worth looking at because I've never seen one and uh, very few people bring in Hazet stuff, at least in sets. But 80210 is the part number here. Uh, there you can see, screwdriver sets. And that's it, so no no key of contents or anything. I guess you would just know that based off of the catalog. So we're gonna set that down. And I'm trying to make good time here so I can get back out to my uh, precious painted dash, but let's just reverse order these real quick. <laughs> and, uh, I gotta say, it's it's a nice, very nice set. Now for the money, and you think like, okay, well the, I think 156 is what it's available for. Now I want to say on Tool of the Day they were like 123-ish, maybe something along those lines. Going with that logic, the uh, 123 price point and 10, that's $12 a screwdriver, which considering this is imported and it's Hazette's, that's actually a really good buy price-wise, just going purely based off of that number and how everything else is priced from Hazette. You know? Now, lucky for me, I at least knew that I loved their handle, and uh, that still maintains to be the case here, and uh, I will not, not dare go against that because it still rings true. Interesting choice, though, I have to say, is that we got a number one and a number two Phillips, no number three, nothing smaller, and then everything else is slotted, outside of the stubby, of course. <laughs> so, uh, this is it, man. This is what we get. So you've got one and two Phillips, and then in slotted, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. This totals out to eight standard drivers, and then we have got our two stubbies over here. First thing first, this looks amazing on the workbench. The color scheme is great. I have zero complaints there. But what you'd seen me bring in is this guy right here. If I flip it over, uh, another cool feature, this does seem to be laser etched. Where's our sweet spot? Maybe there. 802-PH2, you can see the also designation there. Uh, these have an anti-roll feature. They've got the Hazette branding on both sides. Obviously, just like the Philo stuff, these are sort of lint magnets. They pick up a lot of stuff. You do feel it if that bothers you. Realistically, though, this is also one of the most comfortable handles, uh, at least in my opinion. You know me by now if you're a veteran viewer of the channel. I like the bigger handles. I like the bulb style. I even like the trilobe design, that's right. <laughs> so that tends to be my preference, and since these scale, that's just a beautiful thing for me because these massive slotters aren't going to be undersized in my opinion. Right here on the end of the driver, there we go, there's no size designation, but you will know that it's, sl it's Phillips, right, or it's slotted, uh, the way they break that down. Now, in comparison, the Phillips 1 very, very, very close to the same size. But if we come here with this guy, for example, you don't want a huge handle because you don't want to apply a ton of torque with a screw of that size. This is almost like terminal block size, right? But it still feels good. This is kind of what Viha does, right? You know, like if you have a number one Phillips versus a number two, it's gonna be different, different handle. They've designed that for what they believe to be maximum torque transfer. Obviously, you don't want this massive back end on that slot or that number one Phillips, or really even the number two, just because you'll be more inclined to strip out the heads, right? So let's come in, we've got these two here, and I did not think this one would be laser etched, but it actually is. So, let me zoom in a bit. Right there, so 802, 30, and then you can kind of see the uh, 0.6, 3.5. And then if that one was laser etched, that one will be. But this is where we stop, you know, with a standard slotted. And then we step up. The four largest sizes actually have hex bolsters. So what I want to do is go grab some wrenches and some other things so we can test this out. I also want to check the JB weld real quick, and I will be right back. All right, so we're back. The ultimate question over here to the side. I have got three wrenches. Were we able with our limited resources, to gather up hex bolster accessories from Hazette to cover the screwdriver set. We're gonna have to find out. <laughs> but what I wanna cover here is, of course, number one and number two Phillips, number two Phillips on our stubby. Then right here, in ascending order, right, we've got the smallest size, 3.5 millimeter. Coming up next, we've got a four millimeter tip, then with the hex bolsters, we begin with a 5.5 millimeter. 
Next in line is a 6.5. After that, we've got an 8, and we're going to end on a slotted. So uh, that is where we stand now. The stubby, let's come in here and take a look at it. It is also laser etched. Uh, it's a 55, so I'm inclined to say it's going to be a 5.5 millimeter. And that does look to be the case. Now right here, you're going to notice something, at least trained eyes will. For everyone else, fear not, we're going to bring this to the top. Just as I mentioned, there is laser etching on there, which is awesome. But check this out. So these are both 5.5, so our stubby kind of falls right in the mid-range, I would say. You got two sizes smaller, three sizes bigger, five and a half, six and a half, kind of pick your poison, right? But check this out. The standard tip is just finished out, and then the stubby, we've got a black tip. So that is a glaring difference. It's also the same way uh, with our number two Phillips. So we're going to set this guy off to the side. I also want to point out the stubbies both have hanging holes. None of these have that provision. Uh, so we come in. I have, some of you may forget this, but a 7mm has that wrench. Why on earth did I get that? Well, I ran into a bunch of 7mm fasteners. Uh, if I'm thinking correctly, the belly pan of the Challenger. Uh, that's where these are. So does it fit? No. It is super sad close to it, though. So if you're thinking, okay, what size is it? An 8mm? Well, that would be 100% correct. This is a Stavilla wrench on it, but the Hex Bolster 4 I believe our 5.5 is going to be 8 millimeters. Now, uh, coming in, I want to say this is a 6.5, right? Yes, it is. Stamped oh so beautifully for me. In fact, you need to see that and appreciate it. Obviously, the bigger the shaft, the easier it is to laser etch it. That is a 6.5 millimeter tip. What is it? Well, check this out. Remember when I was testing out the uh, little angle drenches from German Tool Company? Started getting some. And what size did I happen to buy from Hazette to compare against Ghidorah and Stavilla? That is right, the 10 millimeter. <laughs> this sucker is a fit. So very cool stuff there. So you've got an 8 millimeter nut for the bolster, a 10 millimeter nut for this bolster, and then right here on our biggest size up, which is 8, we're going to come in and... What do you think it is? It is a 13 millimeter, and yes, that is a Hazette wrench. Luckily, I picked one up in 13 quite a while back. Last but not least, we have our massive little guy here, which I'll showcase that for you. Now, let's again, just because we can, make it a little easier for you to see. 802-100, that is the 1.6 by 10 millimeter tip on this slotted driver. And what is its bolster? 13 millimeters just like its buddy. So from the bottom, 10 and 8 millimeters, we're going to have a 13 millimeter hex bolster. And then on our 6.5 driver, we've got a 10. The 5.5 driver, we've got an 8. Uh, personally, I would have liked to have seen a 10 there as well, but you know, it is what it is. But uh, we almost have it covered with our, with our Z wrenches. Now, while we're here, what better time to grab these, which I have used these quite a bit, you can probably tell because they're kind of, they're not the cool color, well you really can't see it on the camera. Uh, I don't know what I always get into, but somehow, somehow I always get things that like rust brown grease oil color. You know the hybrid color is not really black, and it's not really brown, it's somewhere in between them and then it depends on what it's on, yeah. That's, that's what I stain everything it seems. But I actually have been really happy with these pliers. It's a shame they cost so much because I think more people would buy them. Uh, they've been really, really good to me every time I've used them. I think it was a good buy. It was not a necessary buy, but a good buy. Now, to make this like a really super worthwhile, if like even just the bigger ends of these or the ones with the hex bolsters would have been striking cap, and then it would have been like a super great deal. But uh, as is, we kind of stick with the chisel drivers for all our striking cap stuff. Uh, the VR ones have been pretty good too. It's just, you know, the chisel drivers and whatever. That's what they were designed for. But uh, I have to tell you, if you are on the fence about a Hazette screwdriver, what would I recommend? Well, let's, let's talk here real quick. Because this was a small tool haul, so I interject some stuff when I can. 
If you're underneath the car, if you're a lube tech, if you're in oil all the time, if you drop your tools in oil, grease, and antifreeze all the time, you probably want to go with this from Hazette. It's kind of a tri-lobe. You can see the back in there, but it necks down really fast. This is a hard black plastic handle. What do we think when we see that? Not necessarily comfort, but chemical resistance. So if you're that guy, then anything soft is super nice and you love it, but you get it dirty and that's okay, but then you always like have it deteriorate super quick. This is the route you would want to go. A lot of people actually swear by these drivers. So, again, it is tri-lobe, so it feels really good in hand. It spins. I mean, just a nice, really smooth, textured surface. So you've got the best of both worlds. But uh, that's kind of like, I guess, their mid-range screwdriver. Again, it kind of depends what you personally prefer. Their cheapest driver is right here. Uh, it looks super, super similar to these. Obviously, it doesn't have like the same branding. The color scheme looks spot on, but this is sort of like a uh, hard plastic where you see the Hazette blue. There is actually their name. It's just you don't see it as prominently, right? This is like the flagship. This is your Hellcat, and then this is like you know your V6 version, if you will. This is like the Scat Pack guy, somewhere in the middle, you know, the black one over there. But one thing uh, for a lot of people, if you're all about hanging your drivers, that is a huge deal. No bolster or anything. The tip is black on this one and that one. They actually look really good. Uh, again, can't wait to test these, but just wanted to get that highlighted. It is getting dark. I've got to get my dash in here on saw horses, and there's really not spots for them. So I might see if I can set it back like I had it. And that's going to take some time, and I still need to eat, and it's about 8 o'clock. When the Chiefs and Ravens come on, I was going to, we're going to at least eat while I watch that. Typically, I wind up getting back in, you know, like the start of the third quarter. So, we'll see how it goes. But, 10-piece set. Do not forget the stubbies were included. We got this thing just to try out. Realistically, what I had my eyes on was like their super ridiculously long one. It's like a 440 millimeter, I think. Don't hold me to that. You could do some damage with that sucker. You could space things out and not have to care. Uh, like this angled wrench kind of sits in it. I mean, you can you can figure out what you want to do with it. But again, now that I had never seen anyone showcase these, I was curious about them. And since it was all Hazettes, that's what we went with. Uh, like I said, I pulled people and you wanted to see this. Here it is. I delivered the goods. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the biggest selling point to me, number one, I love the handle on these. Uh, but number two is just, I guess, we got such a big assortment of slotted drivers, which again, uh, outside of a couple of sets here and there, you know, like a Viha and Vit, uh, and, you know, like the chisel drivers, things along those lines, it's nice to have kind of some backups here. So the problem is these are like super nice, super expensive. You probably don't want this as your beater set, but for anything else, it's not requiring like an insulated driver. I think these are a great option. So again, I absolutely love the handle. Some of you, you know, your mileage may vary. You might prefer the cheaper one. You might prefer the black. You might hate this entirely. But for me, it's a really, really comfortable, fairly unique handle. I like the color scheme, how it's integrated throughout the driver. It just works really, really well as a flagship screwdriver for a Z in my humble opinion. So, uh, as always, we will eventually get to the testing. Fear not, I've been, you know, trying to work that in on the backside. Uh, maybe once the truck is wrapped up, I'll start cycling that in when I get burned out wiring stuff, but uh, it is what it is. That's it, I gotta get that inside the bugs. I don't think it died, so there's been tons of, like, millers and these little things that aren't, f it's like the size of a horsefly, but it looks like a bee. And uh, I got swarmed by four or five of them the other night when I left here, so I'm kind of anxious to get out there, get that dash back inside. So this is what we got. The measuring cup, the tool holder, the 10-piece set, which was actually, uh, by Hazette standards, this was a steal. Uh, for anything else, it was a fairly good buy. Uh, but again, you know, like if you're into Viha, Vera, or Vit, you know, that 120 that we probably shelled out on these, that can do a lot of damage for some higher-end stuff. But hey, you know, I'm not going to complain. I do like the handle. I like trying everything out. That was kind of the goal. See what's on the market. See how we like it. What we like. What we don't like. Why. Uh, if one product, you know, like maybe we love their Philips too, but they don't size the handles appropriately. We've got this going for us now, so we can mix it in with all my testing. <laughs> I'll take it from there. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you've used this set... What do you think of it? How does it stack up with what you've used previously? 
Is this the bee's knees? Is it a steal even at the standard price? Keep in mind that 156 is the KC tool price, which has been discounted considerably from the MSRP. And then the 120 ish or so is tool of the day price. So that's about as good as it gets for these, unless they're liquidated for some reason, which probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> so let me know if you've used these, how do they stack up similarly? If you swear by their trinamic handle, the all black, you know, composite one, if you like their cheap driver, leave a comment, tell people why. Wow, that's the ultimate goal is to just help people out. But so, uh, with that said, it was all Hazet, and I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put this sucker into use. I'm going to try to find somewhere to mount that, see what I wind up doing with it, and uh, take it from there. But uh, pretty excited to have these available, and uh, we will definitely be uh, mixing in the number two Phillips and the stubby in our testing. And the rest of them we'll just get to use freely now, and I don't have to worry about getting them dirty so they don't look bad on a video. <laughs> so, with that said, i got to go get back to work. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have yourself a great weekend. And as always, I will catch you back here next Saturday for more tool action. And uh, Wednesday, if you're bored, be sure to check out the Ram Revival or whatever I'm currently wrenching on. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch you back here for the next KC Tool. Told you this thing worked well even more bonus content because somebody would have probably have said this and I would have felt really stupid but while I was cleaning up I got the dash in everything looks good there the JB weld seems to have worked I was just playing around with it I was trying to figure out like if I wanted to mount it tonight or I wanted to hang it what I was gonna keep in it and check this out like you know I was thinking do that just like I showed you but look at this okay if I come in and we've got just a bit uh, like T pin or something here it's not necessarily the most secure thing like that, but it's working with the weight down, right? Like gravity wants to extract this in that manner. Slides out relatively easy. If we come in and we do this, that's a lot better, isn't it? Is, is it just me or does that seem to make a lot more sense now? So case in point, like I can come over here to my handy dandy v magnetic nut setters and we can take the business in, which is the nut driver, and these just sort of conform to the shape. I'm not sure honestly if that's correct or not, but it seems to be, it would make these way more practical, uh, especially at the price point, you know, like if that's how they actually work. Uh, so we come in here, I got my center punch handy throw that down like that's that's very secure I have to say just sort of like a friction fit type of a deal I'm thinking that must be what we're supposed to do I could be mistaken but I, I do think that's it so like if you've got something like this our little pocket scraper you know you can slide in like that but you know obviously it wouldn't even be an option it's just gonna drop through however check that out so I mean you know how small the blade is on that sucker uh, let's grab I don't know, we'll go with the VIT based Stavilla 3K here. It's coming on the other side, it's a number two Phillips. It's able to hold both of these and hold them pretty well. So I'm inclined to say this is probably what you're supposed to do. I could, could be wrong, I've been wrong many times in the past, but I'm wanting to say this is probably more akin to what one should do with it. So. That's what we're gonna run with right there. And uh, that makes this way better. I was sort of disappointed in this, but I didn't wanna like pass complete judgment until I like mounted it and figured out what all I could fit and you know if I like using it or not. But this actually, I think this is gonna be the way to do it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad I caught this before I you know went in and edited and uploaded this video because somebody would've been like, yeah, that guy's, that guy's, he's worthless. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this makes way more sense, and this would actually be way better. And now, going with this, I can run with my idea of having the, uh, you know, super-duper long one actually be practical to house all those screwdrivers. So, uh, that may be what we do. Maybe we'll be seeing that one in the not-too-distant future. But that's all I've got. I'm super happy, just thrilled with the JB Weld. And as I said when I was cleaning up, I was like, you know, I have to mess with this some more. And that seems to make sense. So we'll run with that. If that's not how you're supposed to use it, I think that's how I'm going to use it. Uh, I think I put the pliers away. No, they're still here. Excellent. Let's try this out. So with these, you know, little snipe nose pliers, there's multiple points we could put them. Oh yeah. I mean, 
you would not think this thing i know i don't know what you think of it on camera but in person you would be like oh that dinky little thing isn't gonna be much and uh it's actually pretty good so yeah i am totally glad that i caught that and the realization came to me now as opposed to later tonight or right before releasing the video so that is uh happy news number two on the evening so uh it's super super late for supper but hey i, I will take my progress here in the shop over eating on time any day so with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and you saw the super scraper. Again, I don't just tell you this thing is really good for labels and don't ever use it. I use it all the time. That's why it's like starting to wear so much, but still does the job quite nicely. And, uh, most importantly though, uh, I think we figured this out and that does make me really want to pick up that big one. Uh, we could easily put the full set of those uh, 10 has that drivers there. Now, if you're worried about the stubby, last thing we'll do, I promise. Tell me that doesn't look good. That looks amazing. So that may become a, a must purchase, if you will. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to clean the shop up the rest of the way, try to get the dash, the wired dash off of the floor, at least on the sawhorse or somewhere and uh, let the JB well just sit up overnight. <laughs> so, it will have been a successful Monday for me. I hope you can say the same thing. But until next time, I'll catch you back here for more action from the shop.